Hello and welcome. In case you don't know me, my name is RebelJ12A and I will be helping you and teaching you how to set Phoenix Terrain Mod on your server. Now, uh, I'm a little distracted here. I'm actually watching my server, mind-rp.net. And um, I've actually set up my own local server here for us to actually take a look at so you can see how you can set up Phoenix Terrain Mod. Because there's a lot of questions. And you probably see me in the forums asking, uh, answering a lot of them. So hopefully this will clear up things for you here and you'll be able to take care of this yourself and get going with making some awesome maps. Alright now, just as a little a byway here, looks like a server here, I just, like I said, just loaded the server up here. Let's actually launch it and get started up. Now uh, it's pretty much, well, I took the server files to my own server and put them on there for the files that we would need to get this thing started here. Uh, basically the ones I do recommend you definitely have as permissions. I need permissions and multiverse at the very least here. So let's actually sign in here. Now I've already logged in. Let's just check out the server there. Yep, here we go. The standard Minecraft server does not have PTM enabled. It is not installed right now. We will be installing it. Now one second here. Let me bring that up. Alright, so you download the file itself. From the online, we'll get that set up here. Let's download it fresh. Now I'm running 1000 Craft Bucket 1000 on here, but Craft Bucket will work. Uh, actually, Phoenix Terrain Mod will work on Craft Bucket 1000, so no problems there. Let's see here. Phoenix, right? Yes, that is my avatar. Phoenix Terrain Mod was originally developed by Bikecrest as the Biome Terrain Mod. Uh, also, RTB then picked it up and created Phoenix Terrain modification for SSP and SMP. And then Corn joined the team there to actually set it up as a bucket plugin. Now, I do know that uh, as of recent, RTB has decided not to continue. And as of right now, we're not planning on continuing SMP or SSP non bucket plugin. But uh, I have like three of them. But yes, um, we are continuing to develop the regular the version for Bucket here. Starting out, let's actually get this in there for you and it should help you out. Now we've got our server here. The Phoenix Train Mod, obviously there's nothing here, there's no PTM. Uh, except its owner. So uh, this is a regular map. And when you actually load in and install it properly, the files will generate automatically. Let's actually do that right now. So, here we go. The server has been shut down. Let's actually install the one that we downloaded here. We'll put it in there. Now, start out with, if you want them to generate, you have to edit the bucket.yml file. You have to add this in there. Worlds documentation is also on there. The name of your world, in my case, Overworld. There we go. All right. One second. Like I said, distractions. Stupid people on the server. Oh wait, they might be watching this. Oh, actually, somebody's being a dick on the server. One second. Oh, God, stupid people. One second. One second. I'll be right back with you in a moment. All right. Goodbye. Yup, there we go. What was the message that I put? Oh, let's see. Oh yeah, he was saying fuck your mom. And I'm saying goodbye, motherfucker. Say hi to your mom for me. Yeah, there we go. Aha. Okay, so back to what we are doing here. Now we also add in here, we have the world, overworld, and generator. Now with the generator, you have to put Phoenix Terrain Mod. If you don't have this in the bucket.yml file, it will not save. It won't generate the default files that you need to set up your bucket. Now, let's actually start up the server here. Let's get that going. All right, let's log in there. Okay, here we go, all right. Hey, we go. PTM. It is in there. Let's now. Let's. Those are the commands you can use. PTM check. PTM biome and PTM reload. I need to I need to ignore the server. 
No, the server. We have an affiliation with Phoenix Train Mod. I'm working on developing the website for Phoenix Train Mod along with Korn, who's continuing the project here. And hopefully we'll get a repository up for you guys soon. But in any case, let's do a check. PTM check overworld. Now see, PTM is enabled for overworld. So let's check our plugins folder. They should have actually placed the default files in there. Ah, there we go. Overworld, worlds, overworld, Bob plugins. Now your Bob plugin files will go in there, right there. And this, initially, on a new world, this file will be the default file. Keep that in mind. Now, uh, you will want to duplicate that. We will have this for download at some point in time. But as of right now, we do not have that in there. So you will need to put it in there. Well, actually, no. Actually, uh, you will need to save that for you, and so at some point we'll put that download up there somewhere. Whenever everything is, everything gets done. So, there you go. PTM is enabled on this world, and it looks regular, but you know what? That's a tutorial for another time. Go away, kitty. Get out of here. Get, get away, kitty. Come on. Kitty! Not Papa! Yeah, okay, anyways. Uh, my cat won't leave me alone, so... Uh, hopefully after this you have a couple follow-ups check out my youtube channel here and uh yeah hopefully you'll be able to see some awesome awesome levels that you can make with phoenix terrain mod and we'll go through all of it most all the settings and how to set the settings and the best workflow for actually setting up your website oh no not website sorry i just kind of spaced out there i'm thinking about how is going to kill me for how many mistakes i made uh, Swifty wins also YouTube channel. Watch him. He's a funny fellow. He does a lot of RuneScape videos. We got a couple of videos on Minecraft. Um, but in any case, there you go. Yeah, we'll have this up there next time for the next tutorial. So you can see exactly what you need to know to get everything set up here. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.